guys, what's up? It's your boy Z Shivy coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna be answering some questions that I just found. I thought they'd be pretty cool to answer. You know, a little bit about me. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, first question, my uh, who was my worst teacher and why? Well, my worst teacher is probably my Spanish teacher my freshman year of high school because I would have jazz in the morning and I would go to Spanish, right? And I would just be like a minute late every single time. But this teacher didn't like that, and she was threatening to give me detention and, like, take me out of the class and shit. I'm like, nah, I ain't about that, dude. I couldn't help being late. I had jazz, dude. I didn't even care about Spanish anyways. Anyways, uh, who was my best teacher in high school? My best, well, not high school. My best teacher in general was in college, actually, because I would always be late to biology, and I didn't really like that class. But my teacher would post the answers on the PowerPoints to the tests, so I just memorized those. Took like 10 minutes to study. I'll get an A in the class, guys. Easiest class ever. All right. Uh, anyways, next question. What was my favorite toy growing up? Well, probably my favorite toy would be Legos because with Legos I could build my future mansion. You know, my future cars, dude. Legos just represented what I would have in my future. Where would I time travel? Well, I'll time travel to the 80s. Because 80s, well, they have good music, obviously, but also everyone was crazy in the 80s, you know, they would party, they would go out, you know, have a good time. I would fit in perfectly. Like, the 80s was made for me. One of my favorite childhood memory, probably going to the Wisconsin Dells and taking on those huge-ass water slides like a complete beast. Dude, I'm the boss at Wisconsin Dells, dude. I can do anything there. What's my biggest pet peeve? When, well, alright, I hate two things. One, when people move too slow. I like to live life fast. I like to move fast. I like to do things fast. I like to get things done quickly. So when people move slow, I hate it. Next pet peeve would be when people do things the wrong way, when it's something easy, when it's obvious of how to do something and they do it the wrong way. It's like, are you dumb? Forgot. All right. Yeah. Anyways, that's enough. If I had to choose another name for myself, it would probably be uh, Drago because Drago is just a badass name. What is my biggest accomplishment in life? Two things. One, starting this YouTube channel, which is going to be huge one day. And two, winning Best Musician Award in seventh grade. That's right, you boy. What would my perfect Saturday be like? Alright, here's how it would go. Wake up at 11 o'clock in the morning, have a good breakfast, own some noobs on PS4 and whatever game I play. Then have a good lunch, then go out with friends, then have a good dinner, then party all night, and then get a good night's rest, wake up on Sunday, and then repeat that again. What would my perfect vacation include? Probably, here's how, here's how it'd go. Amazing sights and attractions for the best vlog ever. Crazy street performers, you know, stuff like that. But then I would also want to relax because vlogging is a lot of work. So yeah, that's how that would go. What is a great movie I saw recently? Obviously Avengers Endgame, dude. That movie had a huge plot twist. No spoilers. Um, what food can I never bring myself to eat? Ah, uh, probably bugs. I don't know how people can eat bugs, dude. Which fictional character would I want to meet? Probably Voldemort, because I could then make fun of his flat-ass nose. But then he would probably, like, kill me or something. It's fine, though. What is the first thing that I do when I get home from a trip? Well, I relax, I edit my vlog, then I go to sleep. Yeah, that's basically it. If my life was a movie, what songs would be in it? Well, it would be mostly sad songs with some uh, Eminem mixed in there also. Yep, that basically, that describes my life. What game am I really good at? Well, let me tell you, I'm good at the game of life. All right, here's the secret. Never stress. If you have no stress, then you basically won the game of life. What movie should they make a sequel to? In my opinion, Detective Pikachu, dude. If they made a sequel to Detective Pikachu, it would be perfect. What is my favorite childhood book? Probably The Lightning Thief and the following books in that series because they're based off of me because I'm a god. Yeah, I'm a god. Uh, what are my three favorite movies? Probably um, Avengers Endgame. That was a really good movie. Uh, Hunger Games. I like that one. 
and Dark Knight. Oh, Dark Knight was by far my favorite, just, like, in general. But, like, yeah, those are three movies I really liked. It's kind of hard to choose my three favorites. But, yeah, Dark Knight is for sure probably one of my favorites, 100%. If I could choose a nickname for myself, what would it be? Is this even a question? Z Shiffy, obviously. Dude, Z Shiffy is my nickname, bro. That's right. Uh, what state would I want to live in? Besides uh, where I am right now? Probably California. Or what? Why am I not in California right now? I mean, come on. I'm a huge vlogger, guys, with 50 subscribers. Man, dude, I gotta be in California right now. What extracurricular activities was I involved in during high school? Well, cross-country and track, because I was the fastest man alive. I still am, actually. I was also involved in uh, music. As you could clearly tell from my earlier uh, clip, I won the award for best musician in 7th grade. And I was also involved, most importantly, ping pong. Ping, dude, I'm a god at ping pong. If you want to play me in ping pong, just comment down below. If I could meet anyone from history, who would it be? Probably Walt Disney, because Walt Disney built one of the biggest empires of entertainment, just in general. It's huge. So I would want to meet him because he could tell me his secrets. And then I could be just like him, you know, make a huge empire. Maybe this YouTube channel could be as big as Disney is. One day, dude. One day. Who would play me in a movie of, of my life? Probably someone who's good at basketball and who vlogs. Because I am one of the best basketball players who ever lived. And I'm also a huge vlogger on YouTube. So anyone who does those two things, they can play me in the, in the movie of my life. If I could shop for free at one store... What store would I choose? Obviously Gucci, bro. Gucci has the most expensive, well, not the most expensive, but some of the most expensive clothes I've ever seen in my entire life. But if I could go there and shop for a free dude, I would totally do it. Because then I could look like I'm rich, even though I'm actually broke. Low-key, I'm broke. What is the worst thing I did as a kid? Well, funny story. I actually gave my sister a haircut once when I was much younger thinking it was easy because it doesn't seem that hard to give someone a haircut and uh, clearly it's harder than it looks because when I, when I finished it just looked like crap and yeah I, I got in a little bit of trouble and wasn't it wasn't fun but shout out to all the uh, hair cutters out there because it's harder than it looks if I was able to read one person's mind whose mind would I read well I don't really have anyone in particular but just in general I would want to read some genius's mind if I could read one genius's mind, then I could know what they know, and I would then be a genius. And therefore, I would be able to figure out what I need to do to make this channel bigger than it already is. Final question. If I was told I only had one week left to live, what would I do? Well, it's simple. I would spend all my money on whatever I wanted to do. I wouldn't spend it on things, I would spend it on activities and I would party all week, you know, just party all night, party all day, hardly get any rest, dude. I only have one week left to live and then my last few seconds, I would just go all out, do whatever I wanted, not even caring. But then if I ended up not even dying, then that would be a problem. But that's what I would do in my last week of my life if I only have one week left to live. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little bit about me. It was also kind of fun to do. But yeah, I hope you guys learned some stuff about me. Don't forget to stay shifty. It's been your boy Z Shifty. Peace out. I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the video. And uh, yeah, most importantly, subscribe. Thank you. I'll catch you guys later.